In today's vlog, I want to talk about cooking outside of your van. Do you even need to consider this? Is it just a luxury? Or if you are thinking about it, what is the best kit to buy? That's what I'm gonna cover in today's video. So let's get on with the show. We're James and Rob, and this is our dog, Oscar. It's a really steep learning curve when you start your motorhome, campervan, or caravan journey. And there is lots that we wish we had known. So we decided to document what we've learned and share with you our adventures as we head out on the road again. Our eldest 157.4 meter motorhome had an inbuilt oven with a four ring hob, which three were gas and one was electric. So when we first got the van, we didn't even consider the fact that we might want to cook outside. We thought we had plenty of options and we had room to cook inside the van, but how wrong were we? In fact, it just goes to show how you should own your van for some time before you determine what you really need. Now that's good advice that I thought I'd share with you today for anyone who's just starting out. Buy the bare essentials, use your van for a few trips and you'll soon figure out what additional kit that you need as opposed to doing what we did, which is buying everything that we thought we needed and end up ending up wasting loads of money and also using up valuable internal storage with stuff that we rarely use. One thing we didn't buy straight off is an external way of cooking, even though our van came with an external gas point. As I said, we thought we'd be able to do all of the cooking inside the van, but we quickly realized the drawbacks with this approach, which I'll outline first before I talk about what we did and what we bought. So here are four reasons we decided we needed to buy an external hob to cook outside. So number one is when you're cooking inside, you need everyone else to be outside, otherwise it gets really cramped. So you either need them to be outside or sitting down. And of course, then you've got an audience watching you cook. Now, I totally appreciate that if you're cooking in the rain, this is a scenario you, you will be living with and you will need to get used to it. The second drawback is that most vans have a lid over their hob, which gives you really valuable extra worktop cooking space in your kitchen but of course once you open it up you are really limiting your prep space so you need to be super organized and also a great juggler to be able to use the very little space that you have available in an effective way. Number three which is the biggest thing that really changed our minds is that when you cook everything smells of what you're cooking so if you're frying bacon then expect everything in your van to smell of bacon and to be quite honest it took quite a lot of time to get rid of that smell even if you've opened all the windows and you're using some kind of fabric spray in the van and this leads us on to drawback number four which is as I said even if you open all of the windows when you are cooking your van can quickly steam up and it also can quickly fill with smoke now i know that makes me sound like a really bad cook and i burn everything but that isn't really the case it's just that when you're cooking in a small space even if you've got all the windows open and even if your van comes with a built-in extractor fan then your van can easily fill up with smoke and moisture so i think three and four were the key reasons that helped us realize that we needed to buy an external cooking device so we started looking around the market reading all of your great comments in the facebook groups um, and look at trawling the internet to determine what option was best for us. And that landed us on the Kadak website. And after looking around and looking at some good deals, we settled upon the Kadak 2 Pro Deluxe. So let me show you around the Kadak 2 Pro and tell you what we like and what we don't like about it. So first of all, it comes in this really handy carry case, which means this isn't that heavy strap on it so you can carry it around really easily and it has a front pocket where we can store the cable for the um, gas plus also you can store the grill pans which I'll show you in a moment and then if you undo the main part then you've got the actual Kadak inside. Okay, so once you've taken the Kadak out of its carry bag, you'll see that it is really light and really easy and portable, so you can put it on a, an external table, but it's also really sturdy. Now the Kadak doesn't come with the gas pipe, so you need to buy this separately. So what you need is the plastic piping plus the connectors for both ends, and, and you can get them from Amazon, and I will put a link in the notes if you want to grab one of them. So don't buy this thinking it comes with it and then finding you actually can't use it because you don't have this piece. So you need the pipe and you also need these two connectors and the connector that goes on here into the Kadak. So buy them separately. And then you can just connect this 
onto your um, Kadak and then this other end you connect into your gas point. Now, like our LDS 150, it had an external gas point, so this simply plugs in, you don't need to do anything else. But if your van doesn't have an external point like our new Dreamer XL won't have, then you could simply buy, you know, a small color gas bottle that you can take with you and plug this in when you want to cook outside. So that's the it piping. Once you open up this Kadak, you can see that it's got two gas hobs with um, removable uh, rings and you've got your on off switch and your ignition, which works really well. We found that if it's really windy, that's hard to light. So you obviously want to try and protect it as much as you can. Obviously this helps, but you can put things around the outside of it. And then we've also got a lighter that we used when it was really windy if we couldn't use this, but this works most of the time. One of the things that we really like about this is obviously in this configuration, you can put pots and pans on to fry or boil, but then you can simply take these off and you've got two other options to use. So you've got these two plates which you saw me take out of the side pockets at the beginning and one of them is oops, one of them is a flat plate like this. It's got four rubber feet on it so this makes this really sturdy and you can put that there and that is just obviously for things like stir fries and then you've got another one which is more of a griddle pan which you can use to cook things like steaks and sausages on and that goes there. Now one thing we have noticed is that if you don't put this, now this is obvious, but if you don't put this on a very flat surface, then especially when you're using this griddle pan, all the oil tends to end up down here rather than staying on the plate. So you need to make sure this is on as a flatter surface as possible. And to be honest, this is how we cook most of the time. If we were cooking a breakfast outside, we'd be cooking our eggs on this and our bacon and sausage on this and we can fry bread and all that stuff as well. Um, we found that once we bought this, that we were cooking outside all the time when weather permitted and it's so much better than cooking inside as I've already said. And cleaning this is a doddle as well because obviously you can just take these, you can wipe all of the grease and the fat out of it and these are pretty easy to clean. Like we've been using this for a year and you can see it still looks brand new. And obviously the um, hob part here is easy to clean as well. So a great piece of kit, really easy to transport around. As I say, once you've finished using it, it's very quick to put away once it's cooled down. You just simply put this on, put the lid on, untouch the gas points, and then you can simply slide it back into its bag wherever it's gone. So that's the Kadak 2 Pro Deluxe and whilst it's not the cheapest piece of kit for cooking outside, it's well worth it because it's really sturdy and it's going to last you a good few years. Now at the time of recording this vlog, you can buy this for around about £109 and I'll put a link below. But the price fluctuates between about £99 and £140 so look around for any sales of the product. But as I say, it's well worth the money and, it, and it's probably going to be the right device for you if you're looking to cook for two or three or maybe four people. Now, of course, there are other Kadaks available as well, such as the Safari Chef 2, which has a round surface and it comes with di different interchangeable tops. And there's also the City Chef 2, which is a tabletop gas barbecue. So it all depends on what you're looking for and, and, why, and why you like to cook and what you like to cook outside, because they're all pretty much the same price. And again, I'll put links to all of those three devices below. Now, of course, there are other brands available which may well be lower cost. So if you've got your favorite brand or a different Kadak, then please do leave a comment below and let us know because obviously we have only experienced the, the Kadak too. So to summarize this short video, it's definitely worth buying an external hob or external barbecue so that you can cook outside and avoid all those internal smells. And of course, when you're out in your motorhome or camper, then you wanna be outside as much as possible. So it's also much more social to be able to cook outside and socialize with your friends and family at the same time. So I hope you found this short video useful and of course as ever if you did please make sure that you leave a comment, you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you're alerted each time a new video goes live and of course as we grow our 
audience by you subscribing the YouTube algorithm shows our videos to more people which means we can help more people other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next Sunday as we head out on the road again mm -hmm.